Welcome to the science of clean. You really can clean better, cheaper, faster, more naturally if you understand the science. We're a father and son team, professor and graphic artist, and we're using graphics to explain the science simply but accurately. It's a visual wiki, so you can explore cleaning any way you want. I'm recording this on my laptop, but the science of clean is phone and tablet friendly. There's only one thing you have to know. If there's a yellow box, I move my mouse, if there's a yellow box, then you can click it. So I can explore natural, I can explore saving time, I can see is my house clean enough, what can I do about microbes and viruses. But let's click the central link. Take me to the science. And here's the science of clean in a circle. You have a choice of what to do to clean. You can spend time on it. But this is a problem if you're in a hurry. Temperature cleans, but that has energy costs. Mechanical energy is very good, but that's hard work and can damage the surface. And we'll have a look at chemicals in a moment. But there are two other things you need to know. First of all, we have plenty of text to explain what's going on. It's nice, simple language, and uh, you can read it or not read it as you choose. We also have occasionally these grey boxes, and this circle is called the Sinner Circle. Why is it called the Sinner Circle? Well, it, you click on it, and Dr Sinner was a very senior scientist at Henkel. So you get explanations of more techie detail. But lots of people are worried about using chemicals, so let's see what they are. Well. They work on dirt and stains, bringing the dirt into the water, dissolving it away. And one type are surfactants. We'll have a look at those in a moment. They take the blobs of oil into the water. Would you ever want to use acids? Well, if you explore, you'll find that vinegar and citric acid are natural, safe and very useful. What about alkalis? Well, one is sodium bicarbonate, nice and gentle. Another one is caustic soda, which is very harsh but necessary when you want to do tough things like clean drains. Bleaches are also harsh, but they're harsh for a good reason, and so forth. Let's go to surfactants. A surfactant means a surface active agent, and they have a water-hating tail that likes oil. So the oils grab onto the tail, and the water-loving head goes into the water. So the water-loving head drags the oil into the water. And you already know one type of surfactant, soaps. They're an old style type. Now all soaps are surfactants, but not all surfactants are soaps. And if you want to see whether soaps are good or bad, they're both, uh, then click on the link. You can have high foaming surfactants for shampoos and washing dishes. You can have smarter low foams for washing machines and dishwashers, and so on. Suppose I want to look at a real issue. I want to know about Oh, I don't know. Enzymes. E-N. Oh, yeah, there we go. Enzymes. So now we have an explanation of enzymes. And they seem to be related to fats, carbohydrates and proteins, all of which are explained. And they are lipases. All those good things. Or maybe I'm interested in washing. So I type wash. And I've got dishwashers, washing machines or washing up. Let's have a look at dishwashers. And here's all about dishwashers. And you've got the inner circle inside as well. That's great. Another thing we can do is go back to where we were. So there's a back button. And sometimes I like hitting random. And that takes me to, oh, foam. So what is foam? And you can explore. There's one more thing. This is great if you want to go around the visual wiki looking at individual topics. But sometimes you want to know how to do something. Well, glad you asked. Here's how do I clean? And suppose I want to know the best way to get rid of blocked drains. Well, I click on blocked drains, and uh, here's an explanation in text. So, how to do it. But at any time, uh, it tells you about strong alkalis. You click, and the picture appears. So, you get a visual explanation, and then you can go back to the question and read on more. So, it's a great way to work out how to do something. One last thing. The Science of Clean has no adverts, 
the monetization, tracking. All we want is that you go on your own adventure to explore the science of clean. Enjoy. <laughs>